Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. Emerys Mnangangwa's wife has actually gone on and about to do the most unthinkable things as the First Lady Auxilia Mnangangwa's event exposes the party's rift and two top ZANU-PF officials have been suspended most definitely. Before I give you even more details about what is happening, do all to kindly follow Jam Vibes please, like this video, drop a comment and above all, share this video with all of your friends and loved ones. In a dramatic turn of events, First Lady Auxiliam Nangangwa finds herself entangled in the escalating factionalism within the ruling ZANU-PF party. The fallout has resulted in the suspension of senior party officials accused of failing to mobilize supporters for an event officiated by the First Lady. According to News Day, Lorraine Vengesai, the Secretary for Lands, and Elizabeth Munieri, the Secretary for Finance, both members of the Harare Provincial Wing, have been handed indefinite suspensions already and this hasn't sat so well with Zimbabweans who are feeling robbed already given to the fact that Nangangwa apparently and allegedly keeps appointing people from his family into positions of power and authority. Yo, things are not sounding out right. The party is yet to schedule a hearing to determine their fate. Ephraim Fundukwa Chairperson of the Provincial Disciplinary Committee issued the prohibition orders on November 24, 2023, and these orders are supposed to be taken with utmost seriousness. The suspensions were triggered by an incident where the First Lady herself, Mrs. Mnangangwa Auxilia, allegedly ousted ZANU PF Provincial Chairperson Masimirembwa from a meeting. Now, we need to take into consideration that Masimirembwa was held accountable for the inadequate mobilization of attendees for the First Lady's event, which aimed to inaugurate a kitchen for orphans. Despite organizing three buses, the party failed to fill them to capacity, prompting Amayoxilium Nangangwa to take actions against the man in question due to poor mobilization efforts. The suspension letters addressed to Munieri highlighted allegations of serious misconduct, stating that she had intentionally undermined the event graced by the First Lady. It was further alleged that Munieri, in cahoots with others, deliberately discouraged people from participating in official functions as a means to undermine the provincial leadership. In another development, Oliver Remu, also known as Olembe in ZANU-PF circles, and Reason Mabedla, Secretary for Education in the Youth League, faced a two-year suspension. The duo was accused of orchestrating a protest against the provincial leadership earlier this year at the party's office. Party insiders claim that the suspensions were influenced by Masimirembwa, led provincial executive. Veremu and Mabedla sought a meeting with Masimirembwa to address their concerns regarding the alleged imposition of a daily protection fee of five US dollars by Emmanuel Mahachi, the ZANU PF Provincial Youth Chair, for selling their goods in Bare. Mahachi, a close ally of Masimirembwa, lost in the party's primary elections to Martin Matinyanya, the current Mbari legislator. Speculation is so rife that the suspension of Eremu and Mabedla is an act of retribution orchestrated by Masimirembwa. Masimirembwa defended the disciplinary actions emphasizing wholeheartedly that the provincial leadership would not tolerate disorder within the party. He encouraged dissatisfied individuals to appeal to the National Disciplinary Committee if they disagree with the decisions made. However, an anonymous Central Committee member voiced concerns, alleging that Masimirembwa and Fondukwa were victimizing their rivals. The firing of Eremu Amabedla who actually led a group of youths and party supporters in petitioning against 
Mahachi's collection for protection fees is seen by some as targeted acts of punishment. The ZANU PF party is currently grappling with internal strife with nine senior members from President Emeritus of Nangangwa's home province of Midlands already suspended. As tensions escalate, the party faced the challenging task of maintaining unity and addressing the underlying factional issues that threaten its stability. Without necessarily judging, I want you all to tell me in the comment section what you think about all of this. I love you all so dearly and do want to take good care of yourselves too, please.